David Peter Rajkumar, the CEO and founder of Hyperstack Technologies Private Limited. We are not just registered in India now. Uh, we started here in India. We have expanded ourselves in the US. We are also in Australia. And um, we are proud to say that we are in almost in every single timeline throughout the globe. So Hyperstack's uh, success journey is something that is very close to my heart. Hyperstack was not my first startup, but then I have had so many other failures before I started Hyperstack. But then Hyperstack had a very clear path from day one. Um, so I, will, uh, I would like to share with you what made Hyperstack a success. So that is the uh, part that I want to touch and I don't want to deviate a lot from there. First thing that we did with Hyperstack is we validated the idea, the pain point that we wanted to solve and the solution the one, uh, that we had for that particular pain point. So Hyperstack uh, is also a personal, there is a personal reason behind uh, you know, starting Hyperstack. The reason was I had a personal experience uh, where I faced a very tough situation. Um, I was a CTO for a Singapore organization and we hired for the organization and we realized that the people that we hired had duplicate documents. The top documents that they had were all fakes, they were not authentic and there was no good means to find out if a particular document is authentic or not. So Hyperstack began with this particular problem in mind and when we talked about this problem to every single person that we met, they were really amazed and thrilled to have a product that can actually solve this issue. So Hyperstack initially started with solving the whole uh, landscape of document authenticity but uh, we very soon realized that it is a very huge field to solve by, you know, as a single person or a single company to do it. So we decided we'll take up a vertical and go into that niche and solve a problem and we chose education as a sector. Hyperstack is being used by educational institutions like global brands such as Stanford University, Stanford Medicine specifically, Santa Clara University and so many other name brands. And uh, Hyperstack is in partnership with a lot of you know, name brands throughout the globe in terms of security and document authenticity. So Hyperstack uh, chose education sector for one particular reason during the COVID season where students were not able to go to colleges or universities or anywhere for that matter to go and study. They were all turning towards the online means. So even getting their certificates digitally would make a lot of sense. But then there came a question about the authenticity of the certificates which we set out to solve from day one. So when we get in, got into the uh, digital certificate and digital authenticity area, there are already players in the market. But we made sure that we had a unique value proposition and uh, we made sure that would you know um, take the market by surprise and even grab you know um, customers from uh, the competitors that were there already there. So from there, one of the major pain turning points that we had and our story behind that is, you know, pretty amazing and I would like to share that. So what we were doing was when we had the product ready, so I come from a very technical background and my team was very strong. We had a very strong product and the founders of the organization took the product to the customers. So we went in and tapped our network, found those organizations that we want to sell the product to and sold to those organizations but very soon what happened was we exhausted all the network that we had and um, I met with this uh, mentor and uh, it is important to have mentors which I would like to you know record here so I met with this particular mentor and he told me David and I spent three hours with this man and he told me this David as we speak now for these three hours your product should be making money it should have made ten thousand dollars the time that we have sp spoken and that actually hit me like a you know train and uh, that kept on ringing in my head and i was thinking what should i do in order for me to incur money as i am sitting and speaking to someone else and that is where i uh, learned this particular thing called as product-led growth and founder-led growth so we were following a founder-led growth model where uh, the founders have you know, uh, exhausted their network. So immediately we channeled ourselves and changed our approach to product-led growth. And for that, what we did was to do SEO marketing, okay? 
and we did not go for ads or anything we were did actual traditional seo we did a lot of you know we found where our competitors were in review platforms and went there and uh, sat there and place positioned ourselves in places where people can find us so even as we speak right now there are you know i got a few uh, notifications saying that uh, there are new customers who have started using the platform so basically to start any startup and to be successful we need to realize what is the problem that we have and actually sympathize with the customer and solve their actual issues and work along with them be close with them and um, mostly you know there is this particular thing what differentiates us from the rest of the market why would someone choose us over the rest of the market initially it was just the you know um, sentiment that i had as a founder and uh, the products features that we had but later it also translate into how we you know solve issues for our customer how we take care of the customer how we made things easier for the customer take care of your customer your customers will take care of you thank you